Welcome to the weather forecast for the week beginning Wednesday, April 12th, 2023. This is Chief Meteorologist John Ensworth for Longmont Public Media. This is also being recorded on a new laptop. The old one just finally gave out. So Wednesday, April 19th uh, is a new moon, so it won't be anything to see in the sky, but there are sunspots to see on the sun. They're relatively small compared to what we've seen in the last month or two, but uh, pretty active still. Looking at drought conditions, we have a little worsening of the drought, Denver and south and east, um, but the western part of the state is still completely drought free. Looking nationally, we have more relief in the west. This is just an amazing turnaround in one year. Um, it's the Great Plains now that really uh, need a shot of moisture, but hopefully with the spring moisture flow, this will start to get help too. Looking at our quasi-animation, as much as I can align these up, uh, we can see the snowpack going way above normal. We had the recent warmth and lack of new snow, and we've dropped down a little bit. Um, as I speak, we hit 87 yesterday, and it looks like it's about 84 right now. I don't have it easily visible. But uh, the previous record for these two days are 80 and 79. So we're way above normal. You're definitely going to see a little bite out of the snowpack. There's the other reason. It's very dry. We had a little shower activity around Colorado Springs, south of Denver, a little bit in the mountains, but this is one of our driest weeks in a very long time. And we have some fires down in New Mexico and the smoke coming up over on Wednesday evening. Some other blobs of snow called fire here on the plains. By Friday, though, that does, does get pushed out by the next cold front, so we will be nice and clean and dry. Looking at our animation of severe weather, it's expanding, and now there's a expectation of some severe weather possible way out uh, eastern Colorado. It is possible to get severe weather any time, but this is just the most likely bullseye area, and that's North Texas, Oklahoma, every April. Looking at the actual severe weather forecast, we have a little marginal risk down here, the Gulf Coast, a chance of convection today on Wednesday, and you probably notice the clouds are out there uh, kind of building up. Um, they are producing precipitation, but the lower atmosphere is so dry that it's evaporating before it gets to the ground. So that's called Virga, and it's uh, putting on a nice show, but that's it. For Thursday, we have a marginal risk in that area, right out here in the eastern uh, edge of the state into Kansas, panhandles down here, but uh, wrapping right around I-25, except north of Fort Collins. The next day, there's a slight risk out on the plains, and we are high and dry, even though we have a chance of showers. So for Wednesday, nothing really happening in the state. Thursday, a little bit coming in the western slopes, rain-snow mix, and for Friday we have a rain-snow mix here. I think it'll be rain for the first part, maybe you'll see some snow in the air, maybe a little bit on the grass at the end of the precipitation at night. It's definitely a spring-ish storm. Sorry about that, I had to stop an announcement, see if I can edit that in post. <coughs> I guess I shouldn't because I've mentioned that now. Uh, normal high temperature is going from 61 to 63, 33 to 35, and you're definitely feeling the warmer nights now. Here's our Friday chance of showers with the cold front coming in, driving temperatures down to the bottom there, but just so briefly near freezing, and the, it's at the end of the precipitation. I don't know. Uh, we'll see how much we get. And then we go right back up to warm temperatures with a scattering chance of showers after that. Here's our moisture, water vapor. Um, we have moisture coming up out of the southwest. We have this low in the gulf down here, and you can see the upper ever, uh, upper air pattern. There it is, airflow coming out of the southwest, and here's that cutoff low underneath a big ridge. So there's a low under a ridge, and it's creating that marginal risk that we just saw down in the gulf. Next notable event is Friday with a trough coming in. Um, it's called negatively tilted, and it uh, will give us some precipitation. We got this low reconnecting with the jet stream over here underneath the ridge just a couple days later. 
there's our chance of rain snow mix kind of giving both colors in there I, again i think lower elevation is mostly rain uh, monday the ridge is back and we are high and dry again let's put it in motion and watch that low in the gulf roll around reconnect with the jet here comes our trough jet stream up and over the great lakes here and that trough deepens and we get another cutoff in here briefly and a ridge warms us up out here so it's tuesday into wednesday next week high and dry there's a general trough coming in to the west again and that'll create more precipitation in california then a low goes over next friday look at temperatures lots of above normal temperatures way above normal out here here comes the cold front on friday sweeping down the plains as soon as it gets around the rockies it goes into texas and gets a reinforcing shot by the time it's getting into the southeast we are already warming up to above normal temperatures into tuesday next week cool air and settles in the great lakes with us having heat all right i brought back the uh, precipitable water map and the green here is above normal atmospheric overall moisture or overall atmospheric moisture the browns are below normal so you can see is that we had that precipitation on friday we had the moisture in place here goes the cold front into the south and east into the gulf even drying out even florida we get some moisture back about wednesday next week but there isn't much in the way of lift to act upon it this moisture supply Yep, there's the next Friday chance of showers. And moisture supplies will give us summer thunderstorms. So with the temperature going up, when those ribbons of water come in, then we can get our, our summer storms. Okay, take a looking, take, uh, tongue tied here. Uh, precipitation for Friday, here comes the low cranking. It's not a huge system. Uh, maybe a third of an inch along I-25 of moisture, but hey, we'll take everything we can get. We're high and dry for Monday. Tuesday, here's when the moisture comes in a lot for us. A little bit of thunderstorm activity out here. A little way north of us. Some precipitation up in Montana, Wyoming, but there's our next chance of showers and storms on the 21st Friday. So maybe we'll see some actual good thunderstorms. We'll see. Something was weird at the maps at weather 5280. So I had to pull from another map to see the five-day precipitation total. Now it looks like almost everybody gets some moisture. It's not too extreme, like an inch or so out here, but uh, much less out on the plains. And snow amount, there's where you might get your early Saturday morning coating. As that's a basically a trace up to an inch of snow just a few miles to the west of I-25. Add in the next 10 days in Denver, Boulder, Lyman get some good moisture. And the snow doesn't change except in the mountains because it is getting warmer. So we start with record temperatures on Wednesday. Still very warm on Thursday. <coughs> the cold front moves in with a pretty good chance of showers on Friday. Probably, like I said, a third, maybe a lucky half inch here and there. Got that 20% chance of snow early Saturday morning uh, in the overnight hours drying out back to the 70s and approaching 80 by midweek. I've been keeping an eye on the additional snow out in the west. You can see it is warming up so the southern uh, Sierras and mountains here don't get snow over the next 10 days but they do up here still coming in at a foot or so or 20 inches in some spots. So winter is not quite over for the higher elevations throughout the entire Intermountain West. Longmont Leader and Broomfield Leader have my frequent weather updates and lots of great local news. This has been Chief Meteorologist John Unsworth hoping this new computer pans out well. Keep looking up.